For those of you watching this on the day it's released in the US, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is traditionally the time in which we Americans give thanks and focus on gratitude. So in today's video, I dive into the science behind why we should keep this focus on gratitude every day, as well as some tips and tricks to help our brain stay in the attitude of gratitude all year long. Turns out gratitude is a game changer when it comes to upping your performance at work and your overall experience of life. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and bell now to be notified every time that I post a new video about how to lead and live a more authentic, fearless life. As a stress physiologist, I've long been aware between the association of gratitude and reduced stress. But reducing stress with gratitude results in a slew of other benefits. First of all, you activate your parasympathetic nervous system. This is the rest and repair system the opposite of your sympathetic nervous system that's activated during the fight, flight, freeze, stress response. Your parasympathetic nervous system helps you heal and boost your immune system. And as an added bonus, when we're grateful, we tend to fall asleep more quickly, have better sleep quality and stay asleep longer. Better sleep means we perform better during the day. These effects continue to compound one another as throughout the day, being grateful makes us more creative and more productive. One study even found that doctors who were put into a grateful state by slipping them an unexpected piece of candy were more accurate in their diagnoses than a control group who didn't get any candy. Gratitude is a way of shifting our brain's attention from problems to possibility. When we're focused on the solutions, we get a hit of serotonin, dopamine, and oxytocin, hormones and neurotransmitters that make us feel good and expand our creativity and are more likely to edge us towards an actual solution. The opposite of all of this is, of course, also true. When we stay locked into our stressed out states with our sympathetic nervous system just kicking in over gear, we don't sleep as well, we're less productive, and are overall significantly less physically and mentally healthy. So what can we do to make sure we stay in a space of gratitude all year round? I'm going to share a few of my favorite methods for practicing gratitude, but I'd love to hear from you. How do you practice gratitude in your life? Let me know in the comments below. Number one, the gratitude jar. Put a large jar or bowl in a prominent spot in your home. Every day, make it a habit to jot down one thing you're grateful for, and then add the musing to the jar. Then create a tradition around reading all of your moments of gratitude over the course of the entire year, at maybe the new year, or whenever you might need a little perspective or pick me up. Number two, give back. Find a way to donate your time or other resources to those in need. When we give back, we're actually doing just as much for ourselves by significantly increasing our gratitude and significantly reducing our upward comparison, the type of comparison that typically keeps us locked into lower self-esteem, lower productivity, and overall lower happiness. Number three, handwrite a heartfelt thank you letter. In a 2007 study, participants who wrote letters of gratitude to those people who inspired them demonstrated enhanced levels of life satisfaction and happiness, as well as decreasing symptoms of depression. I'd love to hear from you on how you're incorporating gratitude into your own life. If you find yourself struggling with stress and fear in your life, I'd love to help you move to a little bit more confident, authentic space in order to live more fearless. Reach out to me at info at rebeccaheiss.com and let's schedule a call to talk, no charge. Thanks for watching. If you are enjoying this content, I suspect that you are looking for more solutions to the problems like imposter syndrome and stress that seem to plague us all. So here are a couple of other videos I think you might like. Please do me the favor of subscribing, liking, and sharing the videos so more people like you can find them and so you don't miss any more upcoming content. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next time. Make sure to live more and fear less.